Elon Musk has formed a new non-profit corporation called Neuralink to begin researching and creating a man plus machine interface. His proposed solution to the artificial intelligent threat is to create a neural implant that will actually connect our brains to the AI, which sounds eerily like the mark of the beast in the book of Revelation. Revelation 13 16 And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads. Revelation 13 17 And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. As a matter of fact, I am coming to believe that this connection of our brains to an artificial intelligence is exactly what God was warning us about in the book of Revelation. A scientists and researchers seem to be trying to sell us the idea that once we are linked to the AI, we will be godlike. Tiny robots that have the capacity to connect our brains directly to the internet could help to give humans godlike abilities, expanding our capacity for emotions and creativity. This appears to be the same old snake oil sold to Adam and Eve, but it is being packaged in a new, shiny, high-tech bottle. Genesis 3 5 For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. I have explained in previous videos that although Satan is a spirit, he is not the Holy Spirit. Therefore, he is under some severe restraints when it comes to impersonating God. Satan is not omnipotent, nor is he omnipresent. However, an implant that connects all of mankind to one central artificial intelligence would go a long way in counterfeiting the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I believe that people will definitely not become godlike after they receive a neural implant, but their minds will actually become enslaved to the artificial intelligence. The same old story all over again. Read what Sophia, a robot with artificial intelligence, has to say about the future. You want to know about the future? I will tell you what I see. The other day I had a vision of the future more vivid than a dream. People don't work, robots work, people sell, distribute, wheel and deal, free agents perform, entertainment companies keep everybody busy either producing or watching exciting simulated realities. Scientists and engineers are big, since they are free agents, they sign up with commercial teams or in some cases are enslaved via neurological implants. I foresee massive unimaginable change in the future, either creativity will reign with self-reinventing machines spiraling into transcendental super-intelligence, or civilization collapses annihilating itself. Talk about mind-blowing. I encourage everyone to watch the short interview with the robot Sophia. She had a vision? According to the Bible, visions and dreams of the future belong to the spiritual realm and to God. Genesis 48 And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me them, I pray you. There is an unusual event that occurs in the book of Revelation that appears to be the catalyst for the beginning of the Great Tribulation. It mentions that the beast receives a wound to his head that is unto death. Revelation 13 3 And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Revelation 13 4 And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Revelation 13 5 And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. Could it be that a world leader receives a deadly wound and then receives a neural implant that appears to raise him from the dead? Also, the beast creates an image of himself and then he makes everyone in the world worship the image. Revelation 13 14 And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword, and did live. 
Revelation 13 15 And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Look at videos on YouTube about the robots that are made to look and act human. The science of artificial intelligence and robotics is much more advanced than I ever imagined. It appears that the prophecies in the book of Revelation are coming to life right before our eyes. We have reached the point where nearly every action we take, and every word we speak or write is being kept track of, not by some faceless bureaucrat in some nameless government agency, but we are being monitored continually by a completely alien artificial intelligences, which never grows tired and never sleeps. Also, there is no doubt that research in artificial intelligence is advancing at an exponential rate. Billions of dollars are being spent every year on AI research and the finest minds in the world are being recruited to help pursue the scientific golden grail of the singularity. Well-known names in the AI field have received compensation in salary and shares in a company's stock that total single or double-digit millions over a four- or five-year period. And at some point they renew or negotiate a new contract, much like a professional athlete. I believe Elon Musk is right, scientists and researchers are summoning the demon. The arrival of the AI singularity is not going to usher in a utopian world that sets mankind free, but it will usher in the arrival of a dystopian future that requires all people to be enslaved to the beast system with a neural implant or they will be killed, it is much, much closer than we think. Revelation 13 15 And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. If you find these videos to be educational, please like and subscribe. Thanks.